Today we're talking about a game that had a film starring Robin Williams and Ewan McGregor, known as Robots. And Robots for PS2. Developed by Sierra Entertainment and 21st Century Fox and Vendetta Universal Games and Eurocom Entertainment Software. Um. So uh, this is the first, so I never played this growing up as a kid. I'd always heard about this game, but at the same time, like I always always see, like, you know, like things for it, and if I find like that'd be cool to play. But I, uh, you know, I never saw it in stores when I was like, growing up. I guess, or maybe I did, and I just never noticed it, or maybe I never gave it a chance. I'm not sure what the case may be. But um, let's get let's get into talking about. Robots for PS2. Um, yeah. So, um, Robots for PS2 is a licensed game. It's based off of the film Robots from Blue uh, Studios and Fox 20th Century 20th Century Fox. Um, and also rate E for ages every for everyone. This is before they trans decided to change and say rate E for ages 10 up. So yeah, this one was actually when E made for everyone instead of just ten year olds. And um, I gotta say this game is actually surprisingly fun. Yeah, you're probably thinking like, say really? Yes, really. The game is actually a lot of fun to be honest with you. Um, I had a good time with the game. I thought it was fun. The game follows the film. Um, each level you are trying to click, ex do an objective, trying to find certain things, whether it's blueprints for a invention or anything in a way, um, or just solve an objective. And, um, so yeah, the game is relatively simple, relatively easy. And, uh, in a way, um, if I could compare it to an other game, I would compare it to, say, Futurama game. Mostly it's because it sort of follows Futurama's, um, game, upgrade, uh, upgrade weapons, in a way. And the fact that you can be, do other weapons. Um, but, uh, and also in a way you get to choose, like, choose, like, say, upgrade your weapons and all that. And, I gotta say, in a way, there's only one thing that I dislike about this game. Um, so I can go into that, but to be honest, that that uh, thing I don't like about the game is kind of a, is not really a flaw, but it's just one thing that just bugged me. So the flaws, in my opinion, for Robots the video game are is mostly just one thing, and um. I just feel like the only flaw I can think of, though, is the fact that there's, there's just the game. Most games have a save file system for like the P for the PlayStation 2 era of gaming and all that. Um, I guess saying the only issue I had for this game is the save file system, mostly just because instead of having it as a separate function, like you know, just go to you know the pause selection and then play save. Compared to this game, you need to find a computer, and you need to say, okay, and then it is a free mechanic, so you can save the game. But the bad thing is, like, whenever you save, you are stuck in that place. And uh, it's okay, but at the same time, I wish, like, you could save at any time, any place, instead of just backtracking and going to try to find another computer. But I guess it works, the fact that if you find a computer, you can you uh, try to also go to the same place where you would use uh, uh, trade your cogs to make certain weapon upgrades and all that. So, um, is the game really flawed? No, not really. That's just a nitpick I have with the save file system. It's not... Like, it's not like a function that is going to hinder your game. The only reason it hindered my gameplay experience 
was mostly just at times, um, I just wanted to get to a certain point so that I could save it and, you know, get prepared for the next day, and then, you know, uh, so I could get ready to play tomorrow and all that, so that I don't have to spend all night and to try to get to a certain place. And, um, sometimes the game will have you do, like, say side missions, which, to be honest, are relatively easy. Most of the time, you just have to take your time to try to find them. And, it's a good thing, like, say most of the enemies aren't hard to beat, so, it's not like you're gonna have trouble with this game. I mean, if you do, then, just get good. Take your time. The game isn't that difficult. Um... So, in all honesty, is this game recommendable? In all honesty, yes. If you're looking for a game that has, like, say, clips from the game, from the film, if you're, if you're, like, or if you like the robot's film, then I recommend it. It's a good, um, game. Um, it's fun. It's entertaining. And it's kind of a time killer. But in the time killer in a way that it's fun. So, um, what are your thoughts? H have you played Robots for PS2? Do you like it? Put your thoughts in comments down below. Let us know. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.